Valley County commissioners are asking voters for help to avoid a road funding crisis. On Tuesday, voters will decide whether to raise their own property taxes to make up for lost federal money. The measure calls for a tax increase of up to $84 per $100,000 of assessed property value per year. It would bring in about $4 million for the road department. If the levy request fails, commissioners say they may have to cut half of their snow plowing and half of the general road and bridge maintenance. Only voters who have their primary homes in Valley County can vote, and about 75% of homes there are second homes. Our hands are tied. We have no other funding source in order to do this, and it will impact them um, in many ways. First of all, if you have a second home, you want to come and join us. You want to be able to get to your property in the wintertime. There may be a lot of those properties that we can no longer snowplow their roads for them to get there. And the commissioner says the federal government used to give the county road department about $3 million a year, but it doesn't fund rural roads anymore. She says the county plows more than 400 miles of roads in the winter. ITD does take care of Highway 55. You can find more information on the issue at valleycountyroads.com. For this week's edition of Viewpoint, we also talked with Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain about what's on the ballot in Ada County and what you need to know before you head to your polling place. Viewpoint is Sunday morning at 630 on KTVB. And in the meantime, check out our voter guide at KTVB.com.